everybody, and welcome to episode four of the Disc Only Podcast. Yay! Oh, can they hear us now? <laughs> I don't know when they... Yeah, John puts us into a void, and, like, we just don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I, I was watching the stream, and I didn't even know. <laughs> I forgot about the intro, to be honest. That's why I said yay. Oh, wait, is it when we introduce ourselves? When did, did Tom go yet? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't even know why I bother scripting out intros anymore, even though I do them like one minute before we go live. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Disc Only, where everything is made up, but somehow it still makes sense. I'm Proton John, and this Halloween I'll be dressing up as someone who knows what they're doing with their life. I'm Tom Fox, and uh, if we're going with uh, with the whose line is in anyway, I'll be dressing up as Colin Mockery. Oh man, I, I'm Stephen George, but I guess that means I'm Ryan Styles, but I'm okay with it. That, that's a pretty good allotment, actually. I'm the 8-Bit Drummer, and I'm Drew Carey, because I can't remember who else was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wayne Brady! Yeah! <laughs> Wayne Brady! Oh. Dude, that show is so funny, man. That's, that's, oh, yeah. that's, it, it's, it's probably one of my favorite pieces of like TV, period. It's like, it, it, it really, like, it... I don't know. Like, it, it, it bites me with the, uh, with, the, with the improv bug. It makes me just want to... Wanna, pick up a prop and be like, huh, ears. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite joke on Who's Line, ears. <laughs> Sir, this is an Arby's? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my one of my favorite things from that show is you can actually look it up on YouTube is the outtakes and stuff like that from oh, that show. God. Oh, my God. Some of them are just like the best thing you've ever seen. And also a good reason why they couldn't put them on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like uh, like like Ryan Styles really hating the hoedown. Oh yeah, <laughs> that it's, oh it's, man. It's also a good reminder <clears throat> that what you see on television is like perfect. Yeah, you know like, when you're watching when you're watching uh, the show, they're cutting out the parts where everyone's like, "Whoops, <laughs> well, we either mess go... that up or you know." <laughs> Colin like said the life. F word twenty times. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta go to a live taping of those uh, at some point. Just, just like, just because you see so much that nobody else gets to see. Like that's the excitement of going to a live taping. One of my favorite like cutouts whenever they have to be like, hold please, and uh, like the, the director says that. <laughs> Drew Carey goes, just a re reminder: there's a couple of twelve year olds and a ordained minister in the audience. And oh yeah, like all types of craziness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I he, they dropped a I, I remember that one that that blooper was like uh like one of them like dropped an f somebody dropped an f bomb and and Drew was like yeah there's a there's a, a teenage there's a high school student and, and a minister in the uh, the audience so yep. just remind you of that Dude. Oh, they know what God. they're getting into no no <laughs> they don't they really don't they probably just watch the ABC Friday that's exactly night, what so that's right. exactly what they said. <laughs> Well, then a fun comedy, new surprise. Comedy show. Comedy show. <laughs> a fun new surprise. So uh, I got to tell you all a story really quick. So um, oh, no. this is actually reminded that this was this was reminded of me in the chat just now. And uh, just so you know, I already did it. So uh, the other day on cast, I was like, OK, so I really love Origami King, right? Okay. And my favorite, my favorite song from the game right now is the the pool party theme. It's like la 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 la, like oh, that song or whatever. Oh, yeah. alert. Okay. <laughs> yes, I freaking adore that song. Okay. And and Jules was hanging out in my chat, and I was like, oh frick, dude. Oh no, he, I didn't know he was hanging out in my chat, but um, like I was like, man, I will give Jules a hundred bucks if he freaking gets Adrian to sing on this <laughs> and they cover it. And guess what came out today? So, Ooh. Uh, yeah, before the podcast today, I went and dropped a hundred. I'm like, I'm a man of my word. And Jules is like, <laughs> Jules is just like, ah, because <laughs> like he was already planning on doing it, but word got it, like word went to him, like, and he came in my chat and he's like, I'll see what I can do. And I'm like, motherfucker, he was actually planning on doing it way before I made the bet to him. So like he was just like, oh, I guess, oh, I guess I'll just go ahead and do it then. <laughs> So yeah, just I need to I need to watch what I say. Is what I'm trying to say. Yep. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm well aware of that. Uh, let's uh, let's talk That's about what's happening this week on my stream. Ooh. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this week, 
October is the charity month, because at least two of us, if not three of us, have charity streams we're doing this month. Uh, mine is going to be this Saturday, October 10th. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And uh, we're going to be doing raffles. We're going to be doing a bunch of segments from uh, Coliseum. Like, we're going to do Chaos Cookie. We're going to do uh, Crowd Control. We're going to do Soul Calibur Six. And uh, I set the goal at $35,000. And if we reach that goal, I have promised that for at least one day of Coliseum, I will be cosplaying as Rosa John if they hit that charity goal. <laughs> And if they, for some reason, double or triple it, I am willing to double or triple how long I have to wear that outfit or outfits. Dude. I'm glad you were going. I'm glad you went with uh, with time duration for what you were going to be doubling or tripling because I was afraid of where else that could go. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, no. Bigger was the chat was just spamming bigger. It was just too easy, so I just walked around it. <laughs> He's got to double his bus size for the day. It's perfect. <laughs> Oh so is God. it is it gonna be like that scene from Mulan where like the soldiers cross dress and like when they go to attack the guards with what their stuff in their bra with they pull out the different fruits? Are you are you gonna be like like ping um no shin po size where you're gonna pull out the watermelons or is it gonna be like uh is it gonna be tasteful and you're gonna go with like oranges? You Do you even have you to can't ask see the face question. I'm making right now, Tom? You know exactly the face I'm making at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so so if the next one apple Coliseum, one banana, yes, thank you. If if the next Coliseum is back to in person, mm -hmm. bum bumpers. <laughs> I mean, even if it's not, I'm I'm still gonna try to record some okay. of it. Okay, like, this, this this is my bumper for like day three or whatever. Here here is the before and after. I love it. <laughs> oh, you gotta get girl. It. You gotta get your hair and your makeup did. <laughs> I Absolutely. have to find the correct bus size top to get. I have to get uh, someone to make a dress for me. It is going to be very elaborate. You know for a fact you're hitting that freaking goal. I know. If, That's why I'm like, look, this is for charity. This is exactly why I'm doing this. Absolutely, yeah. It's the only reason I would even entertain this thought. <laughs> so, so, like, uh, somebody in the chat reminded me, speaking of bumpers, one of my favorite things that that came out of the, the bumpers from, from this past year was like uh, a comment that said like, oh, everybody's doing their own like, the, got the, you know, like everybody else is like, oh, funny little little sketch about like what we're doing. Steven, for your Emmy consideration. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun to have something to, to uh, you know, to work on in my spare time. <laughs> it was nice. It's I mean, hard because when, when, when we're doing them in person, you know, I'm involved in the creation of a lot of them. But when everyone is responsible for their own, I'm like, oh, I only got to do one? Okay, hold on. So. Just get to, the lighting kit. That goes to show the, uh, like, the different personalities on display at TRG Coliseum. Because, yeah. like, mine's quickly edited and, like, bombastic and whatnot. Um, and, like, everybody else has their own thing. But then Steven's like, this is going to be the most artistic thing you see in the next three days. <laughs> it's just, that's just how it goes. It's like, I have a degree. <laughs> <laughs> I do Steven, have a degree. <laughs> Steven is really pushing for like the lamp lore of the the lamp being some kind of eldritch monster. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it fits, and there's so much more we could do with it. I the, whenever um Mal and I were brainstorming about what to do for that though, originally it was a completely different idea featuring the the lamp, but it was a comedy. And <laughs> it, we have, we eventually scrapped it because we wanted to do something that would take a little less time. And I was like, well, the fastest way to have to make it take less time is to not have any dialogue. So we scrapped all the dialogue, and then it became a horror film. <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> it's probably a good move. But I want to come back to that comedy idea at some point. I I still like the original idea we were going to do for Coliseum Three, where it was Sonic and it was Sonic Two, Sonic Adventure Two themed, where it was like good lamp and bad lamp, and they were going to have like, <laughs> battles and stuff. Yeah. And like we were gonna have like uh, the theme. Like, I think Jack was gonna do like a live and learn cover that was just supposed to be like a parody of Coliseum. It was such a good idea. And I'm sad we never got to play on it. And I'm like, the I'm the ultimate light source. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ideas can be saved and utilized at a later date. That got me, Tom. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, instead of hero and dark, you had to have light and dark storylines. It'd be perfect. So uh, lamp on, lamp off. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <dark>. <laughs> oh, God. God. I just. <laughs> I found you, dimmer. Dimmer. <laughs> I think you're the dim one around here. 
You're comparing your brightness to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough to be in I'll my make shadow. I'll you turn on those lights. <laughs> you have to, like, cut them off. Just yeah, like you <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, that game is such a treasure. Like, oh, God, it is. Is it? Uh, it's, here's the thing. It's, it's like, it's... It's good to like like the 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 like twelve year old and younger mind when you first play it and you're like this is awesome this is like the dark and edgy Sonic story I want to and then you go back to it and you like it because of the nostalgia glasses but you can appreciate just how bad it is from that perspective. And that's the thing that like, I I was on a podcast the other day um, about literally about Sonic Two uh, Sonic uh, Adventure Two Battle because like it was it's called New Game Plus and they're really cool guys uh, they they do like a retro game every every week with a different person and they talk about it so they play it for a week and then they do it it's really cool but they had me on it and i was like i freaking i i love this game as a kid like i i literally i think i may have put over maybe two to three maybe four or five thousand hours into that game i'm not even kidding wow. i played that game a lot i had everything unlocked multiple times and the worst part of it though the worst part of it i did not have a memory card i knew it i knew my, it for my gamecube so <laughs> I had to keep that sucker on. And whenever somebody would turn that sucker off, I'd have to replay the entire game again and Jesus. again and again. I don't know. Look, whenever I was, I, I was, I was young. Whenever the, when did the GameCube come out? 2000, uh, 2001, 2001, 2001. 2001. 2001. I was 11 years old. So I didn't have money to go and buy like a memory card. And I, I didn't really know how to tell my dad, yo, I need a memory card. He's like, what the heck's a memory card? Like <laughs> he had no idea. Um, so yeah, I got my GameCube, and we I probably played through Melee and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle probably around 5,000 5, for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and maybe close to 8,000 hours for Melee, redoing everything over and over again. God, I that played sounds all miserable. So, so, oh, yeah. So, uh, let me ask you something, then, based on that. Mm -hmm. you, you said that you kept your GameCube on like just to like keep things going. Did you ever unlock Mewtwo that way? Yes, I've un I unlocked Mewtwo. I unlocked Mewtwo three times, three different playthroughs. Trust me when I say I know how to unlock Luigi very, very, very well because he's always the first one that I would do. But yeah, I um I one hundred percent of the game at least three times um without having it saved. And then whenever we got a memory card, ironically, we never really played it that much after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mewtwo is what twenty hours? 20, 25, 25 hours. Twenty five. Basically, yeah, and uh, and it sucks because like we were always worried that it was just going to like you know explode or catch fire, but turns out that the GameCube is a really, really, really good piece of hardware, and it oh, does yeah. not overheat. So yeah, oh, when when that sucker got turned off, dude, I was so mad. Oh, I'm trying to think. See, that, like... when when you originally said a few thousand hours, I was like. I was thinking, what percentage of that was the Chow Garden? But then you said you didn't have a memory card, and I'm like, oh god, yeah, everything was just hell. Yeah. That's right. So, because like, um, the Chow Garden would, uh, it would save like between coming. I think it would load. Would it would it load upon entering? Yes. Yeah. So that means every time you left it, the Chow Garden was deleted. Uh, no, it, it, it no, saved okay. it. It saved it, um, which was really weird because it did save it while uh, while the game was still running. I don't know how <laughs> we didn't fill up like the the RAM of the of the GameCube or whatever, but yeah, <laughs> it was it was a really like whenever we finally got the memory card for that because it was like it was we played Mew, uh, YouTube we played uh, Melee a lot without the memory card, but we find we got the memory card about like maybe a month and a half to two months into playing Sonic. So I played that a lot, but then we ended up finally being able to save our chow garden and all that stuff. This is just, just buy a memory card people. I'm really glad like the kids, kids nowadays, they have like the switch, right? And that has like built in memory. Oh my God. I would have killed for that on the GameCube, dude. Like, Oh, switch doesn't have that. It switches enough built in memory for, for saves. That's for sure. But like, you gotta get, you gotta get a, um, uh, an external memory, memory card, card for yeah. yeah. As, oh. as John, as John can very much attest. I have no idea what you're talking about. As mine has a one terabyte SD card in it. Tom, all I needed was the game saves, man. That's it. That's all I needed back then. <laughs> That's it. All I needed. It. Uh. It's time. I for mean, if you buy if you buy a Switch exclusively for Animal Crossing, which I knew some people that did, then the onboard memory is actually fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you're good, and then you're like. SD card? What is that? And why do I need one? I can see Tom Nook all I want. 
<laughs> it's time for I had my a bad favorite check in. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off. It's time for my favorite check in. How much space of my one terabyte memory card have I taken up on my Switch? Oh, I please have, tell us. I have 349 gigs left of my one terabyte memory card. Can somebody please call um, AA for John, but GA, Gamers Anonymous? <laughs> my system memory, 248 it. megabytes, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. It's Do so have... weird because. Like a okay. terabyte is not that much space. Well, I Any shoot more. a lot of video. So a, a, a terabyte is not a lot of space, but for a video game console SD card, that's still a lot. <laughs> like to have unless, the- unless you're playing the new Call of Duty. That's true. Then it won't fit on a 256 gigabyte memory card or something like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> man, there, there is something to be said for like condensing games down, man. That's, that's insane. The fact that you have to wait like a day downloading that sucker is just insane to me. Mm-hmm. So that that reminds me, I uh, I had to buy blank CDs the other day because uh, I I don't have any. Because how often do you even need those anymore? And Did you stumble into a blue phone booth? No, no. <laughs> we still have Radio Shack here, but it's called the Source, so it, you know I'm still good. Oh, so you're but, living like, in the phone booth, okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I went to Amazon and I found this disc pack, and they advertised. 14 minutes of high quality video can be stored on this one CD. Oh yeah. Now That's when they say it. high quality, do they mean 480p? They mean they mean 1080p. Okay. Wait that. on a CD or a DVD? Because well, because because when a you say, when they say when they say CD or when they say high quality for a CD, the first thing that comes to mind for me is is that it's a is that it's a uh like like 480p because like because nothing when you were burning CDs or even videos onto CDs would have been that high. Correct. That Oh, Wait, sorry. So I, I, I was wrong. It's 12 minutes of HD video. Oh! Uh, it, it, you can burn the disc in under two minutes, store up to 12 minutes of HD video, store up to 225 photos. Uh, oh, man. 30, 37 <laughs> minutes of SD video or 175 songs. I mean, it's very dependent. You could get a lot more than 12 minutes, but yeah, if it, you were burnt, uh, for a while, VCD was a thing. We don't speak of it anymore, but yeah, that's, yeah. um, it's not a lot of space. Did that so, go, so like, that went the, day, the way of the Dodo, like the HD DVD. I didn't even well, know it's, that. Well, it, it was more of a thing that you could do, and for a while, there were DVD players that would actually read VCDs. So there's oh. just a, a way that you could burn CDs to have video content on them. But again, it's pointless because the CD seven hundred megs, and then we yeah. got DVDs that are four point five times, 7. yeah, whatever bigger. Yeah, I did not know that you could put video on a CD. I did not know that. Yeah, it is. No, a, you can do yeah, that. I mean, that's I how, know, that's how I used to watch anime. I used to just download anime videos and put them on, uh, uh, get them off like LimeWire Kazaa, and used to just watch them on uh, CDs. Man, oh, dude, LimeWire, that's something. Holy frick. Oh, uh, I just I destroyed the computer with LimeWire. Like <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I think a lot thing. of us have that are old enough yeah. to use that. Good lord. You could put anything on a CD. <laughs> I mean, not Call of Duty. <laughs> nope. Not anymore. Yeah, probably, probably like no, and I have a Call of Duty one because I was on the PS2, right? Call of Duty one yes. was PC. Call of Duty one is PS2, right? Because Medal of Honor was the PS1. Well, yeah, three, 360. Yeah, sorry, no. Xbox, the original Xbox and PS2 were out at that point. Yeah. 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 I kind of mm. almost said Xbox One. I'm like, no, that's the wrong one. That's the third one. <laughs> Xbox One, one, three, three. For, X, seriously, it's it's ridiculous at this point. Like their their naming thing really needs an overhaul. <laughs> so Xbox like, I, Series I, X or S. Yep, and uh, I wanted to address uh, what was just shown on the sc- uh, screen there, uh, real that quick. That that art. Uh, <laughs> could you put, could you pop that back up there? It's back up. Okay, so to those listening to the audio podcast, somebody posted art <laughs> of uh, of um, the. I, I don't know what what exactly this is referencing, but it's all all four of us running away from a giant Dan. That's oh, that's, so that's definitely Andros Dan. That's definitely what's that's, going. Yeah, on. Andros Dan Dan Dros Dan Dros Dan Dros. Yeah, Dan Dros, yeah. Dan Dros. Um, Dandros. Dandros. Uh, so like, I, I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering now, are we just playing Dan's game right here? Like, <laughs> is, this, is this just for Dan's, this podcast is just for Dan's amusement? I mean, we're also running in space, which is impressive. 
That'd be really very yeah. hard to do. Very, I like very, that Tom's very hard. posing. It's great. Yeah. Well, because he's he's an R wing. He's got to fly. <laughs> yeah. I like I how like you're holding a, little... a disc as well when we were just talking about CDs. <laughs> it was Perfect. symbolic. I also These like 700 how... megs will save us. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crazy to me that like uh, speaking of space travel that like your your phone is more powerful, way more powerful than the computers that got us to the moon and whatnot. Like, oh yeah, that's just so crazy to think about, man. Ah, uh, it's like th- a. There's like a there's like a, a photo that's been going around for a while where it's like one of the scientists who like basically like coded the calculations for getting to the moon and she's standing next to like the stack of papers that it was and it was like her height. Yeah. Like it's nuts just like just how how like how much ingenuity they had to do that before like computers were able to do such things as like listen to everything <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Oh Sorry, there's God. light. There's light and dark on the screen right yep. now. It's killing uh, me. <laughs> some, uh, somebody also drew a uh, uh, lamp and dark lamp. Sonic yeah, no. the lamp and shade the lamp. So, shade. So, <laughs> oh God, that actually is what we're gonna have to call him, isn't it? Shade. Shade. Shade's a good name. So Shade's last, a good name for a lamp. Last month, I was just putting art up while we were all chatting and just not commenting on it. But yeah, this this time around, we've gotten some we've got some gems so all far. Right. Oh. We, I, I I apologize for for like constantly like bringing it up because I know people are uh, the the audio listeners probably aren't gonna uh, yeah yeah this is me sweetening the pot this. for the video for the video listeners yeah video yeah yeah I'll, I'll I'll stop mentioning it <laughs> <laughs> you better cannot, cannot how dare you be considerate for the audio listeners <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> audio listeners here may believe this here this we'll, we'll explain it for you now now we actually I don't know if we have enough time to do that <laughs> let us paint a word read, picture I, and nothing else. <laughs> I will I will read out the hex value uh, code for every color on each pixel. Well, this, one, this one's black and white, so you only have two. Hashtag zero zero. Uh, hashtag f f f f f f. Hashtag f f f f f f. Hashtag f f f f f f. And this is the day that we removed uh, Tom from the Disco <laughs> podcast. Well, that one's got a little bit gray in it. Hashtag a a a a a a. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Jesus. <laughs> F's in the chat for the yeah, F's in the chat for the <laughs> for the color scheme. What have you F's done? Ch- what have you F's done? In the chat for the color white. <laughs> oh uh, lord. <laughs> oh, Tom knows hex codes because like that's how that's how we got the the light to change last oh yeah. The, the last in person. Yeah. Like he understands that. Like for well, sure. I, I I don't understand that. Oh, you know, somebody, you know at least the couple. So, so, somebody, somebody, I, the, the guy I know knows that. The guy, the guy I know who happy, who, who like wanders in, in every once in a while knows that. Yep. Also, well, shout well, out to everyone's guy they know because everyone's got a guy <laughs> that helps them immensely with something. Shout out to that guy. Right. God yeah. knows we could not survive or do our job sufficiently without the guy we know. Thank yeah, you, Chaz. No. I mean, now I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I didn't want. I was hoping you wouldn't say anything specifically because I was going to say that the guy that we know is the same guy. Like, it's like <laughs> one <laughs> omnipotent guy we know who lives in the ethereal plane that can do things for us. His name's just Guy. Like it's just. <laughs> <laughs> his family knew what was up. You no, know, his name is, or his, maybe his name is like Alex Guy, and we just call him A Guy, so he's a guy we know. <laughs> oh, Alex <laughs> Guy, really? we know. That's his name, Alex Guy. We know. Perfect. Hey, I got a guy we know. <laughs> oh my god. Chat anyway, saying, chat saying it's Guy Fieri. I'd, I'd like to know Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. Yeah. He actually seems like a super chill dude. Apparently, that uh, that name. is one of those one of those like people I would love to meet would be Guy Fieri. No. And Homer? then maybe I would actually learn how to say his name correctly. <laughs> Homer? We, we, sh- we Homer? should have him on My the name podcast. Is Guy Incognito. But only to learn how to say his name. <laughs> you can ask <laughs> me we'll one well, question about us. Flavortown. This is the, uh, the welcome to the hour long podcast where we simply just listen to Guy Fieri pronounce his name over and over again. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fury only podcast. <laughs> We just, it's just, What's that it's guy's just, name? Guy Ferrari. Uh. <laughs> it's just different questions. Like, so how did how do the people in this town say your name? Ah, uh, yeah, it was Ferrari. Oh, cool. Yeah, so what yeah. about over in here, Ferrari? 
Now, when you were in elementary school, how did your how did your teachers call on you at attendance? Fari, <laughs> Guy Fari. Is there a Guy Fiery here? Hmm, Fiery Guy. guy. Lucky there's a fiery guy. Oh, no. So I have um hey, I have an important sequiturs. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have an important uh discussion point to bring up. This was this was being discussed right before we went live, and it's it's um it's been on my mind ever since. Oh no. <laughs> um does 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 everyone does everyone cut their chip bags? <laughs> oh, just, we were talking, we were talking really about Pringles a... cans, weren't we? Well, no, 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 no. We got to back up, John. You were, you were, you were busy pressing buttons. Jared, had, Jared brought this up to me, and this, this was a grave concern because I feel like there may be some folks in the world that don't do this, and this is just really going to revolutionize your life. Jared was explaining that um, he enjoys eating Cheetos. He does prefer to use them with chopsticks, which is yeah. fine. My wife does like that to... as well. I would also like to add the detail, and and uh, the the person I'm about to mention can come in at any time here. But we were mentioning this because because Dan was eating uh, Cheetos. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, so, and yeah. So 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 if he wants to if he wants to use this one word to chime in on this conversation, <laughs> <I'm both here>. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, do you have anything to say about this before we continue? Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Can't That's wait. it. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Can't wait to All hear right. what what uh, what's after that next month. Um, <laughs> so so again, like so, I, I told Jared. I said, you know, if if you're a chopsticks person, I I can get behind that. My wife does that, no problem. I said, now I personally, I use thumb and forefinger, two fingers, two fingers yeah. max. That's it. I and acquire. I the Cheeto, I place it into my mouth, and then I go back in with just those same two fingers. So when I am done consuming the Cheetos, I go to the sink, and I only have two fingers to wash. And Jared said, well, yeah. the problem is that you're going to get Cheeto dust up your hand, and possibly, depending on how far you've made it into the bag, your forearm. And I said, no. <laughs> Not you your forearm! The Say bag. Forearm. <laughs> you cut bag. the bag. Dude, he's buying freaking Cheetos from like Costco. Like, good lord! I do buy. Bag. I do buy industrial size bags of, <laughs> of snacks. So here's 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 how we do it in in our household. I I want a shallow bag because the snack industry should not dictate how long the bag should be. I disagree with that notion entirely, and that is why I always keep a pair of scissors nearby my snacks so I can cut that as I consume. And make sure that the bag stays shallow. Now, I have, a, I have a, a problem with that, though. Whenever you go to shut the bag, there's not much to be able to roll down in order to clamp with the little with the clamp, right? Like, well, so, do you just eat the whole bag every time? Well, no, 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 no. This, is, this, yeah, this comes down to a couple things here, then. Um, Steve could either, like, cut the bag with enough room to, to, uh, to close, close it up. Maybe he's got, like, a chip clip or something. Or he's a goddamn monster, and he cuts it right at the edge and then just eats until he needs to seal it up again. Maybe, so okay. He, Wait, Steven, do you take, do you, do you have the scissors next to you so that every time you take, like, a Cheeto out, you cut a small sliver off the top so you can continue going down as you go along? No, that would that would be wild. And I would <laughs> Why love, are we describing Stephen like he's Jared, like a would, serial killer here? Jared, <laughs> I would love to lie to you and tell you that's how I do it, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that uh, everyone would have a lot of concerns. No, but Tom Tom brings up Tom brings up a good point. You do have it takes it takes years of practice, but you have to know how far you're going to eat and how much room you have to leave because there it's it's a very pivotal moment where you have to have enough. Uh, leftover material to cover and fold and clip that bag because if you don't, you're going to have to eat more, and that's not good. See, like, you sound the, like you. Oh, go ahead, John. The, this is just a five minute life hack. Like I've seen this on like life hack videos all the time. This Dude, is this is. Listen, this was passed down to me <laughs> from my parents, <laughs> who presumably passed it down from from their parents. This has just always been a George family secret. And I'm willing to share it with all of you today. It's like I how would, you store all your plastic bags inside other plastic bags. I want you to get a phone call from your father after this podcast where he's like, you exposed the George family secret. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Steven, we're ruined. <laughs> That's it. Our entire empire was built on that chip trick and you've ruined us. <laughs> the empire. 
The George Empire. Oh, yeah. the George family empire. Oh, also, can, can we can we go a little bit more advanced into the conversation as John was mentioning at the beginning of it, where uh, we we asked we inquired with Stephen about what he does with a Pringles uh, container. <laughs> now, like, so, I brought a, yeah, I brought it up, and I'm like, oh, so you must hate Pringles. It's like, oh no, and then go ahead, what you said. Well, well, so the the Pringles the Pringles can be poured while staying in their in their tube in they they maintain the order in which they were placed into the tube which is important so you can just slide those right out grab the ones you need and slide them back in and they maintain the order which is really useful because we need order ah <laughs> uh, yes Dude, that, that is a definite thing though cuz like uh, whenever i eat, whenever i eat pringles i will have the the can completely on its side and just like I'll shimmy them out, just a little bit to where they're like kind of sorry, hanging over. Sorry, there was there was a sound effect in there. Yeah, there, yeah that's the sound effect. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then like what I'll do is I'll use the cap of the Pringles can to have them sit, so it's like a nice little cascade waterfall of Pringles into the little cap, and then I'll just pick them out from there. But See, I'll I have the thing on the table on its side, so I don't I don't I don't buy all that BS. I offered a uh, a uh, an alternative. Uh, before the podcast, um, just use a box cutter. If you're if you're cutting them anyway, just use. If you're cutting the bag of chips anyway, just use a box cutter. Just jam your hand in the tube. Just grab a giant handful, pull them out. If your hand gets stuck, now you got a tube arm. It's great. A just box yeah, do a tube cutter. John, you're taking us back. You're taking us back to the initial problem we're trying to solve. You don't want giving yourself Pringle a chip dust. mega buster. I want a Pringle you mega buster. That sounds great. <laughs> that would be fine if you had finished consuming the chips and you washed out the inside so it was not salty, John. But you have little Pringle bits that are going to be attached to the backside of your hand, and then what? That's yeah, you lick your grip. It's like, like sandpaper. Oh, my goodness. I just... I can't do it. I can't do, you, do what it. What do you think powers the Pringle Mega Buster? It's Pringles. Once you pop, the fun don't <laughs> yeah. stop, John. Yeah, it's like a... It's, it's like a... Like how... How, how does a potato light work? You got Pringle shot. It is a potato light. It's exactly <laughs> it. And the, the, the potato from the chips powers the Pringle Buster. Exactly. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. And then, it's like, like a potato you, light. All you got to do if you want to get, like, more is just jam another tube on there. And then you've got two tubes on your arms, so now you got a charge shot. <laughs> and you can't it's open a, any doors anymore. It's <laughs> a potato-powered Mega Buster, so it's made in, like, Ireland, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Or, or Idaho. Or, or As, Prince Idaho, Edward yeah. Island. Or more really any... All of, like the hundreds of places that potatoes are known for. As Insert my last potato place here. As my last name is O'Grady, I find that offensive. You're reminding me of the bad. <laughs> <family. laughs> my last name is Kyle. By, by, <laughs> by the way, fun fact: my last name's O'Grady. Uh, apparently, people think my last name is Fox. A lot of people think it, that. It, it could be because that. you you put it after your first name. That's true. <laughs> Fox Tom doesn't sound the same though. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so good, but it did. Frick. Also, uh, I have a very specific Pringles-related question for oh, all no. of you. All right, okay. it'll just take sure. a second. Sure. You've how? Okay. Everyone, I think, at some point or another, has taken two Pringles and turned them opposite of one another and did the little the little duck mouth, right? The duck bill, yeah. Sure. Okay, everyone's done the duck bill. My question for you is. Do you do that every time? Do, is, do you do it like once per Pringle can? Or is that something you did as a child and you've become an adult and you've put away childish things? Okay. Uh, so As a kid or when you're bored? So it's not like a normal thing. Not once per Pringle tube. It's time I, for Duck Bill. They do say that the, once you pop, the fun don't stop. But at some point, the fun actually has to have a <laughs> limiter. Otherwise, you're living in unlimited fun. And then you're sad. Oh, he's so Pringles. Time. Where your curly mustache at? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> once you pop, that's great. Um... <laughs> Okay, so quick, quick <laughs> little thing. Have y'all ever heard of the brand Prongles? Yes! Yes. Okay, so you know where that's from then. Okay, good. Yes. You make me happy. Like, I, I couldn't remember the name of the brand, but yes. They're, they're, pop, that's great. They're basically like an offshoot. Like, the guys who it, made... It's Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, Cards Against Humanity made a Prongles brand, and they sell chips now. And if you go to their website, their disclaimers are really funny. Because it's like, you better get your hands off my prongles or something like that. They're like really, really angry at times. And uh, it's just, it's really funny. But okay, so I, I, I haven't done the duck bill in a while, but have you ever taken one or two and then put them like in your mouth to where it's like a circle and you're like, rrr, rrr, like with the, uh, the Pringle? Have you ever done that before? 
Had uh, the heart. Are you guys? Are you guys just not eat your food? Is that what we're, okay, wait, we're discovering? John, here? this is important. John, let <laughs> Jared speak. I am a Jared, man who has you a lot of fun in life. Okay. Are you referring to the chip dam? <laughs> the chip dam? <laughs> is there? There's a name for it. <laughs> well, I, I I do believe what you're referring to is the chip dam. Oh my god! I didn't know there was a name for it. That makes me so happy. So okay. So the other day, okay. Uh, I was eating Pringles and like it's something that I normally do. And I looked over, I put them in my mouth. I had like two, right? Because you need you need the uh, structural integrity so you don't just like break the chip. So you have like I two or three. Yes, yes. You have two or three, and you put it. You eat them sideways, so it's just like a you have like a circle for a mouth. And like I would look over at Erica and I go vroom, vroom, like that. And then what she would do is she would she would like flick it and break it. Like, so it all fell into my mouth at the same time. And it, what was funny is that, like, it would vibrate against, it vibrated against my teeth and scared the cat. So it, he, like, took off whenever I was like, like that. And I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I had no idea that it was called the chip dam. That's, That's awesome. That's called the chip. Now, that is, <laughs> that is also a George family secret. <laughs> However, <laughs> we have always referred to it as the chip dam. And in my, in my mind, it will always be the chip dam. So whenever I go and buy Pringles again, I will I will put them in my mouth that way, and I will take a picture and put it on Twitter so you guys can see the hashtag Chip Dam because yeah. it's. <laughs> I, th I thought that I was like the only person who did it. So <laughs> no, it's 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 fun, and you're you're right about the structural integrity. It does take more than one. You've got to be very delicate to have a one chip Chip Dam. Yeah, you have to have like. <laughs> Perfect mouth control. Like, take yeah. that whatever way you with. Jared, I've got good news and bad news for you. Hashtag Chip Dam has one post in it, and it is of someone with four French fries blocking back some sauce. Mmm, <laughs> that's not uh, a Chip Dam. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they must be English. Listen, uh, I've yeah, got, they're, they're I've from got a special request. I got a special request for those listening. If you got Pringles nearby, take a photo of yourself making a Chip Dam and post it on Twitter with the hashtag Chip Dam. Because we want to make sure that that's that we, we uh, that we establish where the chip dam is. Oh, we have opened up Pandora's about, box. Uh, we're gonna you know, start a war. Prong you talk about prongles before. Have you ever seen Ditos? <laughs> they sound great, <laughs> but no, I have D not. D e t o s Ditos. Ditos. Yeah, they're basically just like off-brand Doritos. I think the main flavor is like chicken flavor. Ah, <laughs> uh, frick! Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I have not heard of Ditos, but I think I think that Prongles is one of the funniest things that has come out of the internet for uh, in a little while. But can mm -hmm. sorry, uh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was done. Uh, but can we get Chip Dam trending? <laughs> I no, doubt I mean, it. Probably not. You don't want to know what's trending right now. I'm gonna just leave it at that. On a completely unrelated comment, next month's podcast is on November <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah completely ahead, unrelated that. completely unrelated <laughs> on, a, on a completely other unrelated uh topic vote <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this will come out before uh way before that so yes please do because your vote absolutely matters um but yeah no uh we are we are pushing back it from the first tuesday to the second tuesday uh, yeah, one week month. yeah one, one week, week. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll know because when you go to listen to it, it won't be there. Oh my god! Yeah, thanks. That's the I'll best be way. <laughs> I'll be sleeping. The, so yeah, it, it won't be on. It won't be on November third. It'll be on November tenth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh but, yeah, dude. Th we this is literally like we are the topic whiplash podcast. I love it so much. We have no structure. That's the thing. The only structure is when we're told to stop. That's <laughs> yes. pretty much it. <laughs> Dan's and, just like, and, all right, you guys even... have had too much fun now. You got to stop. You got to roll it back. Yep. Dan already used this one word, so we can go on as long as we want. That's true. <sighs> he can't See, that, stop us. That right there is the strat. He, like... he just realized it, too. <laughs> I just appreciate everyone willing to discuss snacks for what was probably at least a fourth or fifth of this entire podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me very happy. We don't got to stop. You're right. Tom, what's your favorite snack? Oh, <laughs> cheddar, the Cheddar Mix Munchies. They don't sell them anywhere anymore. I can I cannot find them, but they're so good. They're like cheesy and sweet and oh, they're great. I love them Cheddar Mix Munchies. What about you, John? My favorite snack? Yeah. yeah. Uh, either salt and vinegar chips or pocky, strawberry pocky. Oh, that's a that's a good choice actually. 
Oh, it's a man. good combo. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think I've combined them before. And I don't have any uh, chips here now, but I do have some pocky. Mm. Jared, you how about the, you? You got the pocky. Dude, you got me you got me thinking about it. You gotta give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I keep near my desk in case of emergency, uh, which there is daily because I want to eat them. Um, the the Kirkland Signature peanut butter pretzels available from Costco in a three and a half pound uh, three and a half pound jug. Um, they are great. They are pretzels. They are filled with peanut butter. They are they are wonderful, and I highly recommend them. I told you this man bought like bags of chips at, in bulk at Costco. I freaking I, that. I, yes yes <laughs> guilty as charged. Uh, let me think. <clears throat> now Kirkland is the Costco brand, right? Yeah. Is Costco it? I didn't that was sponsorship? Yep, that's their do, brand. Do any of us have, I guess I was just asking if any of us have a membership, but I guess Steven does. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, you want to go? <laughs> I'm, I'm texting. I'm texting my wife and asking her what my favorite snack is. That, <laughs> oh, how God. do you not know? How do you not know? What I, you I can't like think. I have too many. I have too many, dude. Take I prawns. On just pick one. <laughs> I mean, uh, Jared. Jared is probably a, a jack of all snacks. Jack of all snacks. A snack of all trades. Yeah, I oh, mean, oh you God. know, Jared probably likes to to dabble here and there in various snacks, and because of that, it's hard for him to come up with one very certain snack that he would that he would run to. Yeah, and exactly. I understand that. Thank you. Know, like, you. You know how people use like snack as a term for like like people they find attractive. Yeah. Well, snack of all trades would just be like someone that hits all like the right marks. So the most beautiful person in the world. Yes. Or if we want to go for Fly the Concords, the most beautiful person in the room. So you just in called the me the most beautiful person in the world. That makes me oh, feel Oh, Jerry, congratulations. We were, calling, we were calling Dan the hot boy earlier. Yeah, Dan was the hot boy. Because he was oh, eating the, the Flaming Hot, hot Cheetos. He was eating the Flaming Hot Cheetos, yeah. And we, so, had to get, we had to get confirmation from Steven, who's known him the longest, if Dan truly was the hot boy. So, and, uh, and he was. Erica just uh, responded with cereal, which I can definitely cereal. Yeah, <laughs> like, cereal not like, even, not even yeah, a specific that cereal. Is, that <laughs> is not where I expected this to go, but I'm excited to see where it leads. All right, uh, so... four, four in the afternoon, I get craving. I just grab a handful of cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what we mean, and you know it. All right, so okay, I I have I have a really bad habit of eating cereal right before bed. Um, and I will usually have a thing of either Cocoa Puffs, Frosted Cheerios, because those are freaking lit, um, or, you know, I'm 30, Raisin Bran. Um, let me think. What else? Uh, Jared, when you, when you say, when you say have a thing, are a you bowl. referring to a bowl with milk? Yes. A bowl of, yeah, that's, okay. that's, a, well, that is clarifying. In, in the Sorry, you, you, system, that you is put cereal is. under snacks, so I'm just checking. <laughs> I was See, you had me excited because I was hoping you ate that that raisin bran raw. Raw? Oh raw? my god! <laughs> is that what we're calling it? Do you eat it yes. without? If without you eat milk, milk, it's without raw? milk that is without milk that is raw. <laughs> That's technically unprepared. He's technically right. That's the last oh, thing god. I ever wanted to think about was raw raisin bran. All right. Um... But yeah, so cereal would be my my answer for that, I guess. Do we you ever to intolerant in this house? We eat our cereal raw. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, do you ever eat it without uh, milk, without like a bowl? Do you just put it in a cup and eat, eat it, it or eat it out of the? Yeah, Dude. do you eat it raw? Do you eat it out of the bag? So I've I've e I've eaten cereal out of like solo cups before. Like I've I'm like a, I'm like a junkie, dude. I'll are, find. Are, something do you take cereal shots? In. Is that what you just admitted to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not cereal shots. Like <laughs> I, I'll, shot, I'll fill shot, that tucker shot, up all shot. the way. <laughs> you, go, you, you go to the grocery store sometimes, rubbing your arm, and you're like, yo, you got any cap, <laughs> bro? I need I need I need the puffs, bro. Give me the puffs, <laughs> please, for the love of God. I need I need my charms, man. <laughs> I need my charms. <laughs> Took me a second to figure out what you were trying to can say. Can we can we come up with street names for each brand of cereal, please? Bro, yeah. Could we? <laughs> yes. Should <laughs> we? I don't know. <laughs> Will we? Yes. <laughs> Reese's Puffs is the puff. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well, okay. G gotta have my pops. Uh, that's that, that's an obvious one. That was yeah. It. That's what about pop. what about Cocoa Puffs? Uh, yeah. Dan brings up cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So we should just call that the cocoa. It's, yeah. Give me the cocoa, bro.
I, uh, like maybe like maybe like Sunny Cocoa or something like that, based on like the the bird. Rice Krispies, the crisp. Yeah, oh, cinnamon yeah. toast count crunch count can literally count. can literally just be abbreviated because CTC sounds like a drug. <laughs> oh, it does. God, yeah. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. It's hey, so man, good. <laughs> You got that CTC? <laughs> yeah, no, bro. CTC, bro. Please. I want. I want this to catch on so much because I want this to be a bumper. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you guys walking down a Costco, just like, yo, you got that CTC? <laughs> <laughs> getting that Dude. CT. Getting yo. that CTC, Run out, bro. Run oh out, my bro. god, this is the hot dog aisle. Yo, give me the jacks, the Apple Jacks. Give them to me, man. Give me the loops. The loops. <laughs> the loops. <laughs> This is just us oh, writing God. next Coliseum, basically. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the entire the entire podcast is this is a good idea for a <laughs> skit. All right. So, someone in chat makes a good point. My favorite cereal is Cheez Its. <laughs> does, does that count? Does that whenever count? You're, whenever you are Jules Conroy, it does. One hundred percent. I mean, really, we're asking a much more philosophical question. What oh. is cereal? Oh Give no, me the loops, brother. Oh, and no. now We've all we need is the. the power. We, we need the Vsauce theme to play right. The boom, boom. I mean, if, if cereal is just a crunchy grain in milk, then Cheez Its can be a cereal. Let's see. But they're so, they have salt on them, though. Does that. Well, we have to decide. Does you, you salt add exclude salt to your it? Cereal? Do you know how you much know, salt is frick. in your cereal? I mean,. Yes, I do, and it's actually kind of alarming. But yes. it's like at the same time, I don't see the granules though. Uh, well, you know, you know, your, you... cereal soup. <laughs> Yourdictionary.com defines breakfast cereal as a food made from processed grains such as maize, oats, wheat, or rice, usually eaten for breakfast with milk and sometimes sugar. I'm sorry that this was my favorite snack, by the way, because now we've gone on a tangent. Well, okay. So what you know we how not gone on a tangent? What, what, what did we just say before we went on the, on the snack tirade? <laughs> that this is like the this is this is topic whiplash. Well, we started okay, talking about charities, now. and now we're talking about food. I have I have a sincere question, and also it might be best directed towards Jules. But <laughs> if you were, so you know how um, when you get Rice Krispies, uh, people put the Rice Krispies in the milk, and then they usually add some level of sugar themselves. Could you not do that to Cheez Its? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not volunteering. I'm just saying. Would you want? Since to? Jules is already eating Cheez Its as cereal, I wonder if if he uses sugar. I don't. Stephen, he... why do you constantly try to bring up is a hot dog a sandwich in different forms? <laughs> <laughs> These are the questions of our time, Tom. <clears throat> These are the things that we must know before we die. Biblically accurate cereal. Biblically accurate cereal. Yeah, cheese. It's biblically accurate cereal. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, speaking of topic whiplash, how about that Steve Minecraft? Yo, I, that's I. I think that's really cool, actually. Like, um, it, it, I, I, I had a feeling that it was only going to be a matter of time before Minecraft had representation in Smash. Because I mean, Sans Undertales in Smash for God's sake! Like, yeah. So Steve uh, Minecraft had to be in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve Minecraft. But yeah, no, it's. I think it's really cool. Like personally, it was. Uh, it was me and Mal caught it whenever, uh, whenever it went live, and we were very excited about it. And then when we watched the extended presentation a few days later, we were even more excited about it because it looks ridiculous. He oh, looks yeah. like like. My my brain, man. I've got that. I've got I've got that custom smash brain. Oh man! And it's Ma like Mal was like, "Did they have to make Minecraft in Smash Brothers?" I was like, "It looks like it." <laughs> well, they, they did have that one part of the presentation. Like Sakurai was like, "Our programmers worked really hard on this." Dude, yeah. He he, uh, I will, I will say that he looked a little bit put off that they had to do as much work as they did to get him into Smash because I think they had to re, they had to redo a lot of stuff in order to make him work. Yeah, like it's yeah, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a very big update file. Yeah, but yeah. dude, Cube Kirby though, Cube Kirby, I adorable. think that is the most adorable thing in the world, man. Oh, like, like every every single stage had to have like a special. uh 
<clears throat> like material. stuff added to it for each for each yeah, for each material that you could walk on and mine. Yeah. And I'm I'm curious how that works in custom stages. If it's just going to go by like final destination rules, where it just cycles through them, or if it's actually going to use those materials, because I don't think when they when they made the the um, the stage creator, I don't think they had that in mind. Yeah, it's yeah, got so a lot and, of sponge. And, 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 it it depends on how much stock they put in the stage creator, honestly. You just won't be able to use Steve on custom Smash stages. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what a weird <laughs> would, that would be. I would die. I would straight up die. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I put so much, like, stock in the fact that, like, I, I want to, like, build interesting game modes with this. Like, I've already, like, the, the, the idea is already there if, depending on how it works, for, like, one where it's, like, platforms periodically go away and come back and all you have to fight on are the blocks you put down. Yeah. How long have those blocks even stayed? Did they say that? Um, they it, so from from looking at the video, it's uh, they stay up depending on the material, and they stay on for shorter if you're standing on them, or if yeah, they're at the or, or if they're at the edge of the build plane. They build they they <clears throat> like have a little crack that shows up in them, right? Like they're being mined yeah. from the game. That's yep. cool. Every everything about it is just it oozes. This, I mean, the same amount, but I think even more so polish that every other part of Smash Ultimate has used. Yeah. yeah. It's, my, it's actually crazy what they've managed to achieve in this game. My favorite thing about it, in all honesty, is that, like, is just, like, the style that they went for by, by putting Minecraft in the game. Like, they basically just said... They more or less pulled a Mr. Game and Watch with 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 how Steve looks compared to everything else in Smash. Like he just looks so different from everything else. Yeah, I think it was really cool that. Um, uh, speaking of Mr. Game and Watch, he actually had a 3D sprite, but it was made to look 2D. It was yeah. really cool how they did it. It's basically, it's basically like like a full on 3D sprite that's just like yeah. crushed model. Sorry, 3D model that made him look model. 2D. Yes, 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 yes. Freaking have like shout outs to freaking uh, Sakurai because my god, like, and that whole Sa team, like, yeah, Sakurai and his team, yeah, oh my god, yeah, they are they're some of the most talented uh video game developers I've ever seen. <laughs> Period, they will never be done working on Smash Brothers. I know Smash Good Brothers Lord. will will outlive the Switch itself. I'm like, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of curious as well what's next for smash brothers after ultimate like i i'd be perfectly okay because this because <clears throat> the, the main focus of this smash bros was the characters like yeah. they they added like like three new stages for like the newcomers and like that was it and then they added stages for like each dlc character uh so like the next one i wouldn't mind it being more of a focus on like I don't know. Like, I would, I would love to have like, like I'm biased because I because of the custom smash stuff that I do. But I would love to have more like creative tools. Like, I would love to have the stuff that they used in um in the spirits mode, like being able to make like floors that like that like shock you or like put you to sleep or like I, I, I burn. There's already an obvious that are poison. That'd be great. I would love that. Can't do it's, it, but I love it's it. Just it's just Smash Bros. Mario Maker at that point. It's like, yeah, we're not actually making a game. Like, we don't have any stages or fighters made. You got to build them yourself. Still don't have fighters made. <laughs> we got we got oh some skeletons. God. You just gotta work with it. They just make a new version of Fighter Maker, but they <laughs> put uh. Smash Brothers on it, and they're like, "You make Mario. We ain't doing it." You think you can do it so good? You do it, huh? <laughs> the slogan on the box is "Sakurai's really tired." <laughs> you think you're so smart? <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> and all the quotes on the back are just Sakurai like drunkenly ranting about. <laughs> <laughs> about every time I put in it. my favorite characters, everyone makes fun of them. I keep patching every time them I put in the memes, they're never good enough. <laughs> I just want to make Kirby the best character, but no one lets me. I, I, I like in every like story mode that they put in in, in Brawl and in, in Ultimate, like Kirby characters have been uh, the ones to come out on top, really. Because in uh, in Subspace Emissary, like DDD was like gathering up people that had been turned to trophies and was like, hey. I'm gonna put these uh, these these badges on you that automatically activate you after you've been turned to a trophy because the world is going to end and I'm the only one who knows about it. My my biggest request for it, it it doesn't even have to be the next Smash Brothers, but for a long time I've been really clamoring for Nintendo to do another big crossover game like Smash Brothers with a focus on like an adventure mode or something like that. 
I just think it'd be a lot of fun. Like a crazy like Kingdom story. Hearts, but oh god, Nintendo Nintendo IP, and maybe not as much uh, fat goofy. <laughs> Now, like, I, I really very much enjoyed the subspace emissary from Brawl. And I I was hoping that they were going to do something like that in Smash Ultimate. But I'm really glad that they, uh, for, for Ultimate, they have done so much with the characters. It's literally the biggest crossover, like, game of all time. And being a fan of so many different characters from so many different franchises, it's a, it's a dream come true. But I am hoping that... Like, I, I'm hoping that like in the next big type of thing like this, I'm not, I'm saying like years down the road, they have like a story, like a massive crossover story from different, in, like different individuals from different game franchises, all going to do one massive story, like all yeah. together to beat one baddie. It's basically like, like you the want, whole uh, Avengers thing. Now, right? You want Super Robot Wars? That's that's what you're describing is Super Robot Wars, but for uh, for Nintendo characters, like Super, Nintendo Super characters. Smash Brothers Infinity War, basically. I, I, <laughs> one one thing that I think would be difficult with that is I don't think every every third party character that they license would be on board with that. True. And uh, and so like I wouldn't mind if the next like Smash Bros game and that, if if that was the case is like scale back the roster, big like big event big like adventure platform mode. Yeah, but yeah. they're they're going a hundred percent for the roster on this, which I oh, I'm, yeah. I'm on, on, on ultimate yes that that yeah, yeah definitely That's, going for roster on this one. That was their thing, and I think uh, dude, you know Nintendo's just like all right, Sakurai, you do whatever the frick you want with this one because they knew it was going to explode. The and dude's got the dude has tenure. Yeah, basically, it's like all right, Sakurai, do it. We'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they gotta have they gotta have some say. Like they definitely had to like shoot down like hey, we need marketing characters in here and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, of course, but like uh, I'm dude. Him, him being so happy about Banjo being in Smash made me super happy. Like he was just because I'm pretty sure, like if I'm not mistaken, he's a massive. He was a massive Banjo Kazooie fan, and him ha him having it in there. I might be wrong about the character, but uh, I know that Ter one of the Terry characters... was the one he was extremely excited about. Terry Bogart. Yes, yes, Terry. Sorry, I was thinking of that's, Banjo. That's my uh -huh. boy, Terrence Beauregard the Third. I was. I was I was lukewarm on on Terry when he was first announced, but getting my hands on him and actually playing with him, he's so fun to play. I oh, felt great. so weird because out of our whole friend group, I was the only one who was like, "Fuck yes, give me Terry." <laughs> that was that was the dream. Yeah, no, that was the dream I'm, pick for me. I'm like I'm like uh I'm I'm totally on board now. Like you know I got, I got my like my little like <laughs> I'm thinking like a, I'm visualizing Homer on the couch with like the pen and it just, for me it just says Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mega Man was my pick, and he got in during Smash Four. So yeah. I was, I was, dude, I lost my freaking mind during that reveal. Oh my god, him and uh, whenever, whenever Sans was announced to be in the game, I was very happy about that too because Undertale's so big for me. But dude, the Megalovania remix that they put in for Sans just made it so yeah. much better. Good, it's real good. It I wonder was, if we're gonna get worth... any more costumes that have songs too, because we've got the Cuphead one and we've got the Undertale one. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, no, we, put... we've got we've got Vault Boy as well. Oh, did they have a song from Vault Boy? Oh, they didn't have a song. No, 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 they did not have a song. I was, I was I talking about were... the song. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. those were yeah, the only yeah. two costumes I could think of that added a song. Are they going to do anything for uh, Travis Touchdown? I hope so. There's some No More Heroes has some great music. Yeah, there's some good stuff. Very good stuff from that series. <laughs> In the they had, yeah the the what is it? They also added the Bomberman skin. Uh, for uh, Mii fighters was, with all the different with all the different colors, which was surprising too. Yeah, because like he was already uh, an assist trophy, so it's like yeah. And it was, he's a brawler, right? I think. Yes. Yeah. It's really it's really cool though that now that they've done that, even though they already had representation in Smash, that they are going to be putting in stuff that already has representation. So, like, uh, er, like mine and Erica's like secret like. We want this dude, Just not even for real reasons other than I think it would be great, is Gino from um, Mario RPG. Because what a heck of a storyline to go from basically being completely lost in the void, showing up in one Mario, uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga game as a little NPC, and then coming back as a fully fledged character in Smash Brothers. I think that would be fantastic. Who's uh who's your guys like Hail Mary pick? Like it, like it, there's no way in hell that this will ever happen, but like if they were in Smash Bros you'd be like, "Yes. I don't need anything else. This is this is it." Duster. Wow. Duster Duster from Mother 3. The reason is 
Mm. We don't, like, I'm, Kumatora would be great, but we already have two psychic users, and Duster would have an interesting walk animation, and they would have an interesting uh, move set because they're a thief and they have all these interesting tools. I think Duster would be super interesting in Smash and will never happen. <laughs> hmm. Duster's a good pick. Yeah. Mine's, uh, mine's Mochi from Monster Rancher. See, I got, of course. I got what I wanted. I got everyone I wanted already. <laughs> well, good for you, John. <laughs> <laughs> the only character uh, I can think of at this point that I'd be like, yeah, I'd get excited for that would be Ryu Hayabusa. And really, I don't see that happening. Or Dante, I guess. Those two. But either one I don't see getting in there. But I already got pretty much everyone I wanted in the past two games. Then we can start photoshopping that that uh, seal from Box Art says featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. That's probably Smash exactly why they're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the internet ruined that. Um, and yours, yours is Gino, Jared, or do you have another one? Uh, I have another one. I would I would love to see either Doom Guy or Master Chief because that's like ultimate crossover. I don't know how they would work. Like maybe a gunner type. I think that would be great. Um, Lilac from freedom planet would be really cool but that's that's she's basically a sonic uh copy in that situation um i'm trying to think of another one that i because i know i had other ones too i'm really glad that sans got in i was like oh frick no way you know but as a full fighter i mean it's a meme but i would love to see waluigi make it as the sixth yeah. and final that would also be good but i don't think he's got the the guts and i like how you uh you talk about sans being like a big reveal everyone was excited for sans that was during the terry reveal that was during the terry reveal <laughs> i know <laughs> that killed me on the inside i was excited to see sans too but i'm like no one's talking about terry <laughs> <laughs> no uh i also like that they put like the team rocket outfits in too i think that's really cute Team rocket yeah the team rocket outfits are awesome like I don't know if we need more Pokemon representation in the game, but like mm -hmm. like actual characters, I don't know who we would get. Like I mean, there's tons of Pokemon. Yo, Jesse that would and James, well. just not even like with their Pokemon, just Jesse and James. Would be hilarious. <laughs> Can we just have Jesse and James as like an Ice Climber style beat the crap out of? It'd be characters. so good. Like like not even that though. Take like Pokemon trainer esque fight like type like where they're just in the background but they're they're derping around in the background while their pokemon are fighting i think that would be freaking sick like jesse and james you get uh you get like a mixture of like um i don't even know like who the frick are their pokemon now like Weezing, Arbok, <laughs> six seasons Fett, no no no, uh, no, no beware. Yes. yeah oh dude beware though beware, beware would be freaking sick like like a strong boy like freaking uh king k rule oh my god beware and then like you have like the extras um, like, what what would they be? Not really assist trophies, but they would be like assists or something for Beware being in the fight. I think that would be great. We just remove them from the Pokeball and make them a character. <laughs> Jesse's only Pokemon that she has right now is uh, Wobbuffet. <laughs> oh, so, well, Jesse's. What happened to here. Grimer? <laughs> she never had a Grimer. Who had Grimer? Was there Grimer? Ash had a muck. <laughs> <clears throat> no, these have Coughing and uh, Ekans, but Co then they evolved, yeah. and that was like way, way, way back. And I think both of them got freed. I don't, I don't what know. Is, I actually, uh, the, the Jesse and James released uh, Ekans or uh, Arbok and Weezing when um, uh, there were a, a group of Coughings and Ekans that were being bullied, and their Ekans, their Arbok and Weezing were like, "Hey, let's go ahead. You just go ahead and uh, and." Do good. Dude, I freaking, Defend these guys. I love uh, Jesse and James so much. They're such good characters. Does they really James are. Not have, does James not have any Pokemon in the new series? No, he's got someone. He's got something right now. Probably might still have that Victory Bell. I'm seeing a lot of no's, actually. <laughs> there, really? was a, there was a comment that got me. Sorry. <laughs> Wow, I'm trying to think. Oh, no, they, they just travel with Meowth. They don't. They don't really use Meowth as a Pokemon. I don't think the Mimikyu is there anymore. And uh, that that was Jesse's Mimikyu, not not James's. James had uh, James had Marini. Hmm. What? Well, okay, sorry. I'm a, I'm real out of the loop here. Did Togepi ever grow up? Yes, but not until a later series. 
Okay, I remember. I remember Togepi being in that egg. <laughs> <laughs> like you saw, like the first movie with Misty carrying him around. And she was like, "Yeah, I'm yeah." <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure everything turned out okay for that Togepi, because that's like the last thing I remember. The Togepi was just fine. I'm suddenly concerned. I'm like, oh god, did they, did they take care of it? Oh my goodness, dude. I I I really have not watched a lot of Pokemon stuff. Like after like the first and second movie, I really fell away from the uh, the anime series. Yeah, the well, anime I mean, like series uh, continued on. Um... <laughs> Like animation got better or worse depending on how you look at it. Big battles were always fun, but like the main series was always like super meh. And uh, then Ash finally won. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, finally, finally, finally won a league. He finally Good for did. him. That was in the uh, the Sun and Moon arc, right? Yes. Yeah. He got number Ooh. two in the uh, the. Uh, X and Y arc, which everyone was like really upset about because it was like the most badass Ash had ever been, and he still lost. Is he? Is he still like ten? Yes, he is still. He's. I, I think still he's eleven now. 10. I think oh, he that's... had a birthday. He had a birthday in the first season. No, that's what it was. Okay, I thought yeah. it was later than that. So here's my here's my fan theory on why Ash never ages. Now I can't really say oh, much no. for Misty and Brock. Oh, no. My fan theory is whenever in the Pokemon the first movie when he got hit by that blast, oh, no. he turned to stone and the Pokemon brought him back to life by crying. He gained immortality. And All now right. he is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the that's not the angle I thought you were going. I thought we were doing a Squall's Dead here. I'm like, no, come on. Oh no 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 no! I'm I'm not that much of a downer. Um, like I think that he gained immortality whenever he got blasted by Mew and Mewtwo and turned to stone, and then yeah, after that I think I think that's really cool. No, I'm not. <laughs> immortality's <laughs> not great, man. He'll get to see all of his loved ones die. It'll be really depressing. He'll turn into Dude. Highlander, start running around with a sword, cutting off people's heads. <laughs> Thanks, John. I yeah, I was trying to be all high, like happy, and now I'm sad. So nah, you made that. a mistake. You made a mistake, Jared. You came here. <laughs> For what it's worth, if the next Pokemon series featured Ash with a sword stabbing people, I would absolutely tune in. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Pokemon Ash Highlander edition. Ash has like, like got some really powerful Pokemon in his uh, in his party now. He's got a Gengar. He's got a Dragonite. Dude, I, okay, he he like got like the biggest upgrade in this new season, dude. Also, oh, yeah. that score that score bunny is amazing. Um, I can't remember his name. Um, the Go? yeah, Go Go score bunny is like my favorite thing in all of Pokemon. Like, oh my god, freaking ah! Uh, I can't. Uh, th does he have a nickname or is he just score bunny? I, I, oh, I think he evolved. He's Raboot now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, he's not Cinderace also, yet. I thought thought he was Cinderace now. I don't know. I I uh, I haven't seen that far. Hmm. Now people are saying Raboot. Okay, soon. 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 <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> Man, I oh dang it! Now you're making me want to go watch more Pokemon, dude. Go watch it. some Pokemon. <laughs> Just you know, load up whatever service carries it. I don't actually know what service carries it. Po Dude, Pokemon same. service. Net, like Net, <laughs> Netflix carries the newest season. You can get a lot of the older seasons, seasons on Prime Video. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of like the older stuff. Like, uh, I, I don't really know how to explain it where it was in the timeline, but it really fell off because I just got I got tired of the same trope. You know, like just the same thing over and over again. I don't know. The, it, yeah, the, it's the, just the, like the, a the, monster of the day kind of series. That's all I ever wanted to be. Not, uh, true, I mean, not, true. Only, not only was it monster of the day, but like it always it followed the same like storyline every single time, unless Ash was in a big battle. Yeah, because it'd be yeah. like starting off. Oh, there's a new Pokemon we've never seen before causing trouble. Let's go help it. We're in the midst of helping it. Team Rocket comes. The Pokemon helps itself out by defeating Team Rocket. Everybody's happy. Go home. Basically, yeah, just for it's like a hundred seasons. <laughs> um, but you know what I like about Sword and Shield? You weren't like the world saving hero as a ten year old. Yes, you know all the big stuff with the grown ups and adults having to fight off and do crazy stuff that was happening around you while you were becoming the champion, and that's I think that's fantastic. That said, you did still have to do the like the the big ultimate battle to yeah. save the world, but but like but yeah, like it wasn't up to you to like go off on side quests to like 
take down yeah. the big team. Like, oh and man, like, I don't, I don't have to fight against a crime syndicate. I'm just freaking fighting Pokemon battles, you know. And some people ha were like upset by that because it's, it seemed like that the story was happening without them. But like, yeah. I, I also do kind of like, I don't know, like, I, I, I like the idea of, of just like being a. I can't really say a normal kid either because like you have the opportunity to just be like super overpowered at the beginning. Like there's there's like the the power gap between like what the story kind of expects and what you can actually do is yeah. so wide in like every Pokemon game because you can just grind it up. Yeah. I just like I really appreciated the fact like there would be times where you were about to do like a battle or something but then something happens and Leon being the adult has to run off and go and fight something like yeah. the only the only part of the game where you're actually like fighting the final battle is whenever you are fighting against you know the final fights and i love that also i freaking adore team yell that they're just a bunch of fanboys like <laughs> that that was the funniest crap for me they're working like, for one of the t they're, they're they're football hooligans they're basically yeah. just football they're football hooligans for marty yeah i okay i absolutely adored uh, Sword and Shield. It was my it's my favorite Pokemon game other than Red and Blue wow. because it it had a lot of stuff that I really appreciated. Um, overall, like there was some stuff that I was just like, "What the frick? Like, why? Like, I'm not gonna finish the Curry decks. I'm sorry." Um, but the gameplay and the story was really fun. You just got to become the champion, and I I enjoyed that immensely. And I don't give a frick about the national decks. So <laughs> I, I'm, actually only, I'm only missing two Pokemon in my living Pokedex. Nice. And they're both they're both mythical Pokemon, so I'm not going to be coming across them anytime soon. Hmm. Yeah, Crown Tundra is coming out, and it's giving it's giving me a little bit of a uh, like a hype excitement because like I wasn't thinking about getting it, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to fight with my little Cinderace again. I'm, I miss it. Like I really do because I actually got a Gudra, which is exceedingly hard to do in Sword. Um, oh, because it has to be. We have to be in a spot where it's raining to evolve it. Oh my god, yeah, it's the freaking worst, dude. I, I oh, getting a Gudra was the hardest thing in the game, but I finally got, I finally got my 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 baby. Like I freaking Gudra is one of my favorites. Um, you can't, I don't. Can you get a Mewtwo in this game? I can't remember. No, not you can transfer one in, but you can't catch one in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, like there, there, dude. Like frick, there were so many, there were so many good new Pokemon in that game too. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, sorry to like just gush about Sword and Shield. I just really enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> How dare you enjoy things? That's not How what this podcast is about, things. Jared. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to kick How you dare out. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Second puberty came in quick. Sorry, somebody, somebody in chat wanted me to do the uh, the the Pokedex voice. So like a Diglett, the mole Pokemon. It's a finger. <laughs> it's a finger. It's a finger. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> can has anyone dug him up? No, no one can. Like no, and, no and, one and, and in then, the anime like thought to do that. that like one like day that Brock really, wasn't there's, like. There's there's one episode where like there's like there's a couple episodes where it, like where Diglett's anatomy is like really weird like there's one where Diglett's in a chair and it still has like the mound of dirt around it and you can't see underneath it you can't see like it underneath the chair at all it's just popped on top of the chair but it still has like the mound of dirt covering up everything Steven though there are some questions that you do not need to know the answer to okay. I still like I, I like the buff body theory where they're like just me super too buff <laughs> Me too. There's uh, a th there's one uh, episode of the anime where a Diglett's just poking out of a guy's hat. <laughs> he is the Diglett. <laughs> he, he is the Diglett. Like like that guy is actually the Diglett. Diglett is people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way, those two Pokemon are missing are Marshadow and Zarude. If anybody in chat wants to, uh... you're missing Darude. Zarude. Oh no! I, heard uh... I I want Darude. That's the Pokemon I want. Sandstorm. Is Darude's all, all special all move Sandstorm? It is not Sandstorm. sandstorm. I made it's that joke sandstorm. on Twitter, and I was I was so proud of myself, man. Oh my you god! Know, you know what? You're making me want to look up now. Can Darude? Can Zarude learn Sandstorm? It is it is a grass dark Pokemon, which doesn't mean that it can't. But I really want to like see if it can learn Sandstorm. Also, so on a minor note, you know the Alolan Diglett and Alolan uh, Dugtrio. Oh, you mm -hmm. mean Hanson? The the, the yeah. only thing I can think Hanson about man. is the freaking He Man video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all I can think about whenever I look at that Pokemon, dude. I love him. He's so good. Zarude cannot learn Sandstorm, but can learn a move that causes a Sandstorm. Oh. 
I yeah, don't know the code. album, but I got a friend who does. <laughs> I had I, I know, had that album. I know a guy. I he had knows that album. he knows D and B. Like he can use the move to, drum and. D. I lost my Spotify login, but my brother's got one. Just give me a second. <laughs> I feel bad because uh, I used to listen to that album a bunch, and my favorite track was not Sandstorm on it. It was Rock Your Body, but like no one knows him for any other song other than Sandstorm. Yeah, I remember. I love Tom, fact. you were there. We went to the Twitch, Twitch party. Yeah, yeah, Twitch yeah. Party. And he didn't play Sandstorm, and people got mad. Nope. He like teased. And people it. got. He played like he played like an Angry Birds remix. Oh yeah, that's what it was. He played some weird remix, and everyone got mad that he didn't play Sandstorm, and then he never got invited yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was I was there for that as well. I had no idea that. Well, I didn't know y'all at the time, but that's freaking crazy. Like how like. It's funny because like I'm pretty sure that I met Erica before I met Erica as well at the first TwitchCon. Like I'm sure that I ran into her at one point because I was hanging out with Jules a little bit um, during the first TwitchCon. And man, it's weird like how crisscrossy our paths were. What the frick? <laughs> yeah, man. Like it, it's funny how like you just don't even know how you're gonna meet people. Like Jared, I met, like I said, I met you at Coliseum, mm -hmm. and like Jack or sorry, Jules and Adri, I met just watching them walk around with Emil and Massey and I'm like, who are these people? Yeah. I, I know I know I met Jules through uh through like Emil and Massey, but like I I knew Jules because we have a we had a we had a mutual friend. <laughs> is it that guy? A guy? It's always it's that guy. A, <laughs> it's, guy. It's, it's uh it's it's um, a guy you know. His name's uh his name's Lyle. Uh, he goes he goes by Lyle Rath on uh, on YouTube. Oh yeah Lyle's great. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, it, it's funny though, because like even at like conventions um before the Coliseum, like I would always be hanging out with Jules and such. So I would see y'all and I think I talked to you, John, once before, but you were like, Who the frick is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was just really funny because like uh we would always like bounce around where we were. Cause I I, I think I like maybe helped y'all set up a couple of times um at like Mag or something like that. We carried stuff from the Momocon hotel rooms and stuff. Yeah, I remember uh, having a giant group. I'm like, who are any of these people? Yeah, we don't want you touching my stuff. Like I can understand that like 100%, but yeah, it's it's really, really cool how everything kind of just worked itself out. And now we're doing a podcast. It's weird. And now we're doing a <laughs> podcast. And now we're doing a podcast. <laughs> so the moral of the story is help me carry luggage for throne controllers and you'll be on a podcast. <laughs> and and on, on top of that, like it's a podcast. Be careful what that, you wish for, John. It's, it's a podcast <laughs> that like really, really just was like spawned from a meme. I think. Sp uh, speaking of, mm -hmm. speaking of this, this is actually a segue into wrapping up the entire show. Oh, um, <laughs> so it's look at the time we we yeah, it's, it's eight twenty five p.m. The night's still Dan, young, Stephen. Dan can't stop us. He used his word. Dan already used his word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of, um, because the the show is somewhat spawned off of um, the charity event that I did. John was talking about the charity event that he's yep. doing this month at the beginning. And, and I'm gonna, gonna use this opportunity to mention at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm doing Extra Life. This is the ninth year we've done it. It benefits our local children's hospital, and that is October 24th. And we are covering the Wii Library, where people can donate towards a specific Wii game that they want to see played, and then we'll play it. <laughs> Very nice. So that you, and there's, you've there's, made there's so good, many mistakes. There's, there's there's bad news and good news with this as well. For the bad news, there will not be a return of Peggy. But the good news is the Wii has so many games in it that are just god awful that you'll we'll probably have a great time anyway. The, the Wii, Wii can play GameCube games unless you're using a Wii U and cheating, which you should. We're, we it's it's exclusively Wii, exclusively okay. Wii. The All the right. GameCube games are packed up in the closet. John, do not make me go get them. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for some oh, I, I EA exercise what? or whatever it's called. Well, no, uh, Calacris Bay has actually has a very good suggestion for a, for a game Netflix disc only. <laughs> oh yeah, there as you that, go. As that there you go. Watch Netflix we, on the Wii, you yeah. We've done it. that joke and it made a podcast. If we don't, do it don't again, worry. there'll be a second podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're trying to do. No, That's what they're Steven, trying to do. We just did, if we do it again, we'll get a Netflix series. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, Tom. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. 
uh, there's so much there's so much shovelware on the Wii. I'm very excited just at the prospect. I mean, if people donate towards Netflix, God, we'll do it. I I don't know what we'll do. You have it? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was pretty easy to get. Oh no. We've had uh, <laughs> we've had a lot of um, we've had a lot of viewer contributions, and that was one of them. And oh, uh, we sure. haven't finished the library completely, but we're very close. And it we're close enough at this point that like. There might be a few games that we're missing by game day, but it's fine. There's still over 1,100 that you can choose from, so there's plenty. Yeah, Action Girls Racing. John, don't, don't, I'm not getting up and looking. <laughs> How do you not Super know you have the Brothers best game Brawl. on the Wii? Action Girls Racing. Listen, there is a higher probability that we have whatever you ask about than we don't, so I'm just going to say yes to all of your questions. <laughs> do you have right, battle for the Wii? Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna raid during that, so I imagine we'll we'll have to pick out a game to try to force a stupid joke on again. Oh no, no! Don't make him play Canada Hunt. Chat, no. <laughs> <laughs> my my wife's uh, bibliography, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> sorry, autobiography. Yeah. Showing where she she's moved. So the wor the worst part now. is like Chaos Cookies on Saturday, so during our charity marathon. So likely we're gonna be forced to do disc only again, but it will just be me and my mods because you guys probably. <laughs> So I'm just like, uh, yep, here's disco only. I just got no one here for it. <laughs> what what time is it going to be? Oh, no. Do you know? Any I idea? Do, I, like, I do I'll have, be there. I do have the schedule up for mine. Um, okay. If you tell me if you tell me what time, if it's not during a stream, I can I can be there for like half an hour, an hour. That'd be great. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's, <laughs> John only. <laughs> oh, God. It, yeah, so we've got five segments for ours on Saturday. I like how we we're talking about Stevens and I've taken over again. Uh, Chaos Cookies. <laughs> it's fine. It, Chaos Cookie starts at 8.30 p.m. my time, so usual fortune cookie time. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the oh, yeah, marath yeah. It, my marathon starts at like 1 p.m. mountain time and goes to 1 a.m., so. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, if you need me, just, you know, scream at me over the over Discord, and right. I will I can be there. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> Fun enough. I, will, I will need your help for disc only. <laughs> disc only light. <laughs> Di <laughs> disc lonely. Disc lonely. Diet disc only. Disc only. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh disc lonely jesus well, uh, well uh, speaking really really quickly of charity as well um uh every every month we do one we're doing uh one at the end of october as well i don't know it's going to be really close to the end of october maybe 30th or whenever the what the frick hold on it is going to be on the 31st and we're doing uh stack up veterans charity so i just wanted to get that in there as well it's a charity month, man. Tom, what you doing? <laughs> I will be contributing to the three charities you all are supporting. <laughs> good answer, good answer. I was, I, about, I, I was about to just be like, well, Jared, you and I don't have a charity event, but you do, so. <laughs> so I, yeah, I knew it. I knew I Tom was, was going, the only one. I, 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 was, I was going to suggest the Derek Variety Hour. <laughs> 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 Oh man! All right, so oh, Stephen and Jared, what are you two dressed up for for Coliseum? Apparently, <laughs> since I've already met my goal or hit my hit my part. Uh the only thing I can dress up as is, is the eight bit bunny. That's the only thing I have stuff for. So probably that. <laughs> now, when you say the eight bit bunny, I will have paws, ears, and a tail, and that's all I can give people. I'm well, not sure I want to like buy me a. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not buying a fursuit for freaking uh, Coliseum. <laughs> that's that's not the direction I was going in. <laughs> okay, good because it's, <laughs> I wasn't going to allow you to. I was going for Playboy Bunny. I mean, I. I <laughs> wow! Wow! We got to keep this PG-13 as it is. I mean, I, you know, I really. Nothing? What? I really didn't think that that would be a struggle, but I see that it's been a continuous struggle. <laughs> I mean, I can I can dress up as a maid because I've done that multiple times for charity. Like a maid bunny. I did that for the last one. Heck, I might do it for Coliseum. Frick it. So John's not by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just going to have a segment that's like the, the Coliseum costume party? <laughs> Where like every, every person who like had to get a costume for Coliseum just shows up i think at this rate i've got i've got a, when we build the schedule when mc and i start building the schedule for the next coliseum i'm gonna be like all right what day am i in the most segment so i know when to dress up 
No physical <laughs> segments, I, please. I am not doing any and not doing DDR and heels, please. No. When do I need to do my makeup? Everything like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing the makeup. Reese is going to be doing that. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I probably won't be at that costume party, but I think Lord Donator will. <laughs> That's awfully nice of him to show up. Yeah. Uh, Jared, when is your uh, charity marathon? When is your charity stream? Should be the 31st of October. Oh, Halloween. On Saturday. Oh, Halloween. Yeah. Either, uh, either, either 30th or 31st, depending on when, when we end up doing it. Probably 31st. Steven, what about yours? What's the date for yours again? 24th? Yep, the week before, October 24th. All right. Do you have a time for start time for that one, or it starts? It generally starts at noon Eastern, but we go for like tw tw at least twenty hours, usually pushing closer to twenty four. So it's a long one. Oh, Translation: great. If Stephen has a rough night the night before, it starts whenever the hell he gets up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ours is this Saturday, October tenth, uh, starting at one p.m. Mountain Time and ending at around one a.m. Mountain Time. So it'll be twelve hours. Uh, and Tom, what are you doing this month? Since we're all doing charity stuff this month. Uh, well, I'm going to be uh, greedily making my way in this capitalist society by just making videos that uh, that'll make me money and nobody else. <laughs> Tom needs to eat. <laughs> Look, I mean, uh, that's, that's what we're doing the rest of the month. So it's like there's nothing wrong with that. It's true. Uh, we got more. You got more custom smash coming up. Uh, this coming Saturday is the last one that I have uh, batch recorded, and uh, we're going to be starting hopefully recording a new uh, batch of them uh, on uh, next Wednesday, the day after um, Steve comes out. So the first uh, the first custom smash to come out uh, with Steve out will have Steve in it. Um, but that's going to be based on scheduling. Uh, Megan, I, I don't want to make too lofty promises such as getting videos out on time. Mm. Um, I hear that. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I've still got a whole mess of um, like game ideas ready to go in case I can't come up with anything for Steve. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Also, we're gonna we uh, we're gonna be having a special guest on the next uh, the next batch of recordings. Uh, is gonna be uh, Matt Bragg from uh, Achievement Hunter. We'll be on uh, the next three episodes of nice. Custom Smash. Neat. All right. Uh, here's a recap of today's episode in case you missed it. This is the talking oh points from Dan. I'm Ryan Stiles. Watermelon Mahonga Dunkaroos. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine who that's talking about. GameCube run. Outdated discs. That guy. Hashtag Chip Dam. Snack of all trades. Raw Searl. <laughs> hey, Steve. Back it up, Terry. Ash to Ash. Diglett is people. Disc Lonely. Disc, oh my God. Lonely. Disc Lonely is perfect. Also, Dan way. Dan says that you do have Action Girls Racing. Ooh, that's helpful. Uh, yeah, I have a site. It ha it keeps it. I don't know. He checked. That's good. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> 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 Wait, I like how you Dan, didn't want to do that yourself. I like, uh, Dan, I'd have Dan, to like, Dan click Dan stuff. Has, Dan has several jobs here. He edits the podcast. He says one word per episode, and he and he, he back checks to make sure everything we're, we're saying is accurate. Speaking of, <laughs> are we going to be nice and give Dan a second word this time around? Or yeah, Dan, what what are you what are you doing? What are you, we'll we'll give him multiple because we he can he can advertise his stuff. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Dan. No, go Dan, for plug it, Dan. yourself for Damn real, it. for real, Dan. Plug yourself. <laughs> Uh yeah, um, Twitch TV slash Motion Dan is that a thing? Is that yes? Is that, <laughs> is that seems you, unsure. You, I just what? checked and it checks out. It is there and exists. But, <laughs> yeah, but also do extra life and all the charity shit. <laughs> yeah, do charity. Do it all. all. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> As always, uh, a special thank you to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for the logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and of course, Dan, our uh, allowed to talk more now producer. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> we, we, we've given him too much power. <laughs> Reminder that uh, the next episode will not be the first uh, Tuesday of the month. It will be the second Tuesday of the month, November 10th. Uh, and I'm saying it's because I'm Canadian and nothing else. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Night, everybody. And uh, for as as an American, I'd like to tell you all to vote on the day that the podcast would normally be, November 3rd. Vote. Do it. Vote. Do it. Vote. Please.
Bowed. Bowed. Please vote. 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 Bye, everybody. Support.